Let's try a systems of equations problem involving percentages. Two alcoholic beverages are to be mixed together. Drink A is 5% alcohol by volume, and drink B is 40% alcohol by volume. We're thinking about a beer versus perhaps hard liquor. How much of drink A is needed to mix with drink B to make a 250 ml mixture that is 20% alcohol by volume? Answer to the nearest milliliter. So this question here is a typical systems problem. We need to come up with the, the two formulas, and we need to define our variables. If you read the question, usually we have an indication of how to define our variables. How much of drink A is needed? It's asking for a certain volume. So I'm going to begin by de defining my variables based on this. So let A be the volume of drink A. Let B be the volume of drink B. So we know that we have this final drink. It's uh, one cup. It's a 250 ml mixture. And A is the volume of drink A. And B is the volume of drink B for this final cup. So what can we say? We can say that A plus B equals 250. So the actual amounts of each is broken down to two parts. And we have the A part and the B part. And they add up to be 250. Now the challenging part is to set up the second equation. Generally, we drop the, the percentages in front of the variables. So drink A is 5% alcohol. 5%, if we divide it by 100, is 0 0.05 A. We're talking about drink A. And then plus drink B is 40% alcohol. So 0 0.40 B is equal to some amount here. Now, we follow the pattern of dropping the percentages in front of the variables. But let's think about the meaning. When we're talking about the 0.5, 0.05 A, we're talking about the alcohol volume only. So this is the amount of actual drink, but if you're taking 5% of it, this is only pure alcohol. So this here is pure alcohol volume, plus another pure alcohol volume generates the actual pure alcohol volume. So how do we get the pure alcohol volume? We take the final drink, and we know this is not all pure alcohol. We're not drinking 100% alcohol, but only times 0 0.20. This is 20% of it. This here is the pure alcohol. So these two equations make sense. We're adding two small alcohol amounts to generate the total alcohol amount, whereas here we're just adding two volumes to generate the total volume of the final drink. So this is the hard part, coming up with these two equations. You should try this on your own without any help. And now that we have two different equations with two different very unknown variables, it's simply a matter of algebra to work it out carefully. I'm going to just uh, multiply equation number 2 by 100. By the way, 250 times 0 0.20 using your calculator is equal to 50. So I'm going to multiply equation number 2 by 100, so times 100, to get rid of the uh, decimals here. We get 5a plus 40b equals 50 with two extra zeros there, 5,000. And the question here is how much of drink A is needed to mix with drink B? So we need to solve A. This question is saying solve A. So to solve for A, I want to eliminate the Bs. So when I look at this first equation here, the B is 1, and this is here is a 40B. I want to make them the same so I can eliminate them using uh, the uh, elimination. So I'm going to multiply equation number 1 by uh, 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation, I'm going to go times 40, and I'm going to bring the result down here. So we'll say that 40a plus 40b equals 40 times 250. 40 times 250 is 10,000. This is where we can draw a line and we can subtract. And we don't have to subtract up down as long as we subtract consistently in a similar pattern. We can even subtract down up. So 40a minus 5a is going to be 35a. 
and then 40b minus 40b the superiors is equals to 10,000 minus 5,000 is 5,000. Divide both sides by 35, we got a is equals to 142.9, we're talking about milliliters. So rounding to the nearest milliliters, we have approximately, we need to throw in 143 milliliters of drink A into the cup so that we have a generate a 250 milliliter mixture that's 20% alcohol by volume. So for this uh, systems problem, the key is to come up with the right formulas. Read the question, drop those percentages, think about the meaning of what this is. This here is pure alcohol plus pure alcohol generates pure alcohol. A common error is to forget to multiply by 0 0.20, so make sure that you're multiplying when you need to. So you're probably wondering why do I need to learn this? And I'm wondering the same thing.